I'm Linda Langhorst and I graduated from Ohio State in 1981 and 1983 in a completely different field than art. <laughs> I worked for Ross Labs for about three years, and uh, when my first son was born, we moved to Corning, New York, and uh, I quit my job at Ross, moved to Corning, New York, and promptly started painting and drawing again. I had a grandmother who, who really encouraged me to go back to it, and uh, when we moved back here to Ohio, um, she she told me it was a, a sin to waste a gift, and so I'm not sure whether it was a gift, but it's more like an addiction. <laughs> um, subject matter has been musicians, and it's come and gone, but it, it kept circling back. I was already working on this series called Making Music, and part of that series was about people who make instruments. I went down to photograph a gentleman who restores pianos, and um, planned to do some paintings of that. So when John opened up and my son started taking lessons here, uh, I came in and said, wow, can I photograph you guys building instruments? And he said, sure. And so I was parked in that corner photographing and I said, well, can I bring in my temporary easel and paint for a couple weeks? And they said, sure. And he's laughing back there. And then, so then I did that for a couple weeks and then I said, when do I need to leave? And they said, well, you know, not yet. And <laughs> so eventually somehow I ended up over in that corner and. Uh, and uh, I haven't left. I mean, it's just, it's a, it feels like home, and it's a great connection. When they, when they play back and forth like you're hearing in here, you know, they're kind of trading off with each other. They're kind of giving each other a melody or a line or something to play with, and, and they, they give it back and forth, and there's a lot of interaction. And so in the sound, you see the connection. If I can paint it well, you might see the connection. I really do believe that, that every piece of art that's created is some combination of hand, head, and heart. And you know, different paintings are stronger in one of those three areas. You know, the hand is the technical skill, the head is knowing what you're painting or what you're trying to say, and the heart is that gut of the piece. You know, there's rhythm in a painting, and there's color in a, music, in a, in a song. So. 